GPT-4 Vision is a large multimodal model from OpenAI that extends GPT-4's capabilities beyond just processing text. The model allows users to upload an image as an input and engage in a conversation. Multimodal and generative AI refers to the ability to process, understand, and generate output for more than one type of data, such as text, images, video, and audio. This opens up a lot of potential use cases, such as image classification, text transcription from images, image data analysis, and much more. You can access the GPT-4 Vision model using the Clarify platform. First, let's sign up for Clarify. If you already have an account, log into the portal. Here is the page you see when you first open the portal. Let's go to the community page. You can see the apps, models, workflows, and modules here. Let's go to models. This is a community page for all the models, containing various LLMs, embedding models, image generation models, vision models, audio models, etc. You can filter the models based on your use case from the right-hand sidebar here. Let's search for the GPT-4 vision model. You can see there are two models available, GPT-4 vision and GPT-4 vision alternative. Both models support multimodal capabilities, but the only difference is that in the alternative model, you have to pass an image as an inference parameter, which you can pass directly in the vision model. Let's try the GPT-4 vision model. This are model notes. I am uploading an image input here. It's a car image. And you can see the response from the model. To use the model in your app, you can access it using the Python SDK with just a few lines of code. Here is the code for it. Now let's use this model for a use case. Consider object detection, which is a computer vision technique for locating instances of objects in images or videos. Although GPT-4 Vision is capable of handling image data, object detection is not currently possible. When the GPT-4 Vision model is tasked with noting the exact position of an object in an image, the model is hesitant to provide that information. Let's test the model for object detection. Here is the Colab notebook. First, let's install the Clarify Python SDK. You can do this with a pip command and then set your Clarify personal access token as an environment variable. You should have your own personal access token in order to access the model. To create a new personal access token, log into the portal. Click on your profile icon in the top right corner and select the security option under settings. Now, create a new personal access token by providing a token description and selecting the scopes. Copy the token and paste it here. Now let's copy the code from the model page and paste it here. We are importing the model class and inputs from the Clarify client. This is the prompt, and we are asking, what time of the day is it? This is the image URL and also the inference parameters, such as temperature and max tokens, which will help us optimize the model's response. Now, using the predict method, we are running predictions on the vision model by passing the prompt, image URL, and the inference parameters. Here is the response from the GPT-4 vision model. We have seen how to run the vision model using the Python SDK. Now let's use this model for object detection. Below, I am passing an image URL that contains a picture of a car, and I am asking to share the bounding box coordinates. Let's run it, and this is the response. You can see that it refuses to share the information. Even if you modify the prompt and ask it to share, the coordinates will not be accurate, and accuracy is crucial in object detection. What's the solution? You can use an object detection model, which is excellent at detecting objects, and then use the GPT-4 vision model to refine its predictions and label the object. In this example, we will use the object detection model from Clarify to identify the car in an image and mark the bounding box. Afterward, we will use GPT-4 vision to label the exact brand name. Using the GPT-4 vision model here is really helpful as we can identify specific car brands without training a model a task with which current zero-shot object detection models struggle. First, let's access the object detection model. You can go to the Clarify community, 
Search for the model, and here is the object detection model. Let's open it. You can see that this model detects a variety of common objects and their locations, and also generates regions of an image that may contain those objects. Now, let's use this model for object detection. Copy the model URL, and let's go to Colab and see how to get bounding boxes for an image. First, let's import the model class. This is the image URL of the car. And here I have passed the model URL and initialized the model class and running the predictions by using the predict by URL method, passing the image URL along with the input type as an image. The model will detect and return all the regions in the image, and I'm storing that under regions. Now, we will iterate through each region, check the confidence score, and consider only the objects that are more than 99% confident in that region. And then we will pass those objects along with their bounding boxes to the GPT-4 vision to label them. You can see that I am initializing the GPT-4 vision model URL and object classes such as Ferrari 812, Volkswagen Beetle, BMW M5, Honda Civic. If you would like to add more classes, you can do that as well. As I have mentioned, setting the threshold here as 0.99. Now, we are iterating over each region, accessing and rounding the bounding box values. Even within a single region, there will be multiple concepts, and we are only considering the objects that have a confidence score of more than 99%. Here is the prompt that we are giving to the GPT-4 vision model asking it to label the car by giving the bounding box regions. You can see that the GPT-4 vision model labeled this as a Ferrari 812, along with its score and the bounding box region. Now, we will use this label along with coordinates to draw a bounding box and add the label to the image using the pillow library. That's what this code does. As you can see, I am opening the image URL here, drawing the bounding box and adding the label using the rectangle and text methods from the pillow library. You can see the bounding box along with the label Ferrari 812 to this car image. We have seen how we can use the GPT-4 vision model along with the object detection model for data labeling. Now let's turn this into a working UI module where users can upload a URL of a car and get the image labeled. UI modules are Clarify's integration with Streamlit which acts as custom plugins that provide UI elements to build beautiful AI applications. This is the module that we're going to create. You can pass your personal access token, upload a car image URL, and get the image labeled. First, to create a module, go to github.com slash clarify slash module template, which is a template repository that makes it really easy to create UI modules. You will get all the required libraries and pre-imported code that helps you get started with creating UI modules. Use this template to create a new repository. Provide a repository name, a short description, and then create it. This is the repository where I'm going to work on the project. Now let's copy the repository URL and clone it in the local machine using Git. I have opened my terminal and changed the directory where I need to add this project locally. Now first, I'm initializing the git using the git init command, and then cloning the project using the git clone and passing my repository URL. Now we have successfully cloned the repository to the local machine. I have opened the project, and this is the project structure. First, let's open app.py. This is what you'll get pre-imported from the module template. And in the pages folder, you can see we have the first page.py file. You can modify this according to your use case. But before that, let's install Streamlit, Clarify, and Pillow libraries. You can do this with pip. Just open the terminal and install these libraries. Now I am using the first page.py file to add my project. Here you can see I am importing the necessary libraries and then setting the page config using the Streamlit and initializing default CSS primitives also adding the page title here, and you can see I am defining the entire logic in the main function. Getting the URL input using the streamlit text input method, and also defined the sidebar to get the personal access token from the user. That's it. Not changing anything much in the code logic here, just adding the code that we have seen from the Colab notebook, and finally displaying the image using the streamlit image method. Test your app by running it locally, 
You can do it using the command streamlet run and give your file name. First page.py file in this case. The application is running on local host. You can specify the clarify personal access token here, enter the image URL, and submit it to get the response. Once you make sure everything is working fine locally, define your requirements.txt file with all the libraries that you have used in the application using the command pip freeze requirements.txt. And finally, push the code to your remote repository on GitHub. Now let's try to deploy the module in the Clarify cloud so that everyone can access it. Go to clarify.com and log into the platform. Now let's create a new Clarify app. Applications are the basic building blocks for creating projects on the Clarify platform. Your data, annotations, models, predictions, and searches are contained within applications. Just give the app ID a short description of the app. Select the primary input type, whether it's image or text data. In the advanced settings, you can select the workflow and then create the app. This is the app. You can see it's completely empty. There are the sections for inputs, datasets, models, workflows, and modules. Go to the module section, and at the top right, you can see there's an option to create a module. Specify the module ID, give a short description of what this module does, and then select whether you want to make the module public or private. Then create the module. You can see there's an error showing that you have to make the app public to make the modules public. You can go to the app settings and make the visibility public. Now let's try to create the module again. You can see it successfully added the module named data labeling. Now let's try to create a module version. For this, you have to provide either the branch URL or commit URL of the repository. I've already pushed the code from the local machine to this repository. Just get the branch URL. Copy that and then pass it here. Similarly, give the module version ID, module ID, a sidebar title on how you want to see the module in the sidebar. Let's give it the same name. You can give the module version description and again select whether you want to make the module version public or private. At the bottom, you can see the environment variables and secrets. If you have API keys or other secrets that you don't want to commit to GitHub, you can just add them here. Then, give the page title. If you have multiple pages for your application, you can just add the title as well as the file name. Here we only have one first page.py file, so let's specify that here and select the cloud. You can either deploy to localhost or Clarify Cloud. Let's select Clarify Cloud and create a module version. You can see it's being deployed to the cloud. Now, it is successfully deployed. Let's install the created module version. Again, you can just select whether you want to make that public or private and install it to this app. You can see it is successfully installed in this app. Now, let's try to use the installed module version. Let's authorize it. You can see the final deployed application. I am passing my personal access token here, along with the image URL of the car. Here's the labeled image from the app. Let's pass another image URL. This time, I am using the image of a BMW M5. And you can see the response. This is how you can create a UI module and deploy it to the Clarify cloud. To summarize, we have seen how to run the GPT-4 vision model using the Python SDK. We also discussed the model's limitations for object detection tasks and saw the solution by combining the object detection model with the vision model. Finally, we created a UI module and deployed it to the Clarify Cloud. You can find the link to the Colab notebook below. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.